Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. It clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion from March 24th through April 7th. To March 24th to 28th, we have a ridge here over the Central Pacific and stretching to Greenland. We have below normal heights here across Canada and the West. Generally, a zone of flow to go to the 28th. You can see we have above normal heights here extending from the North Atlantic into the Northeast and the Middle Atlantic region. Now, um, first we're gonna back up a little bit to the previous period. We're looking at a strong storm system that would be um, moving in over the weekend in the East. Now this is, we're gonna look at the GFS. This is Friday night and then go to Saturday. And um, now it looks like a major uh, rain event as this low moves to the through the Carolina coast, snow up to Northern New England, and then we go to late Saturday, still raining hard across March, uh, parts of the Mid-Atlantic and the um, parts of the Northeast. And then we have snow continuing uh, across uh, New England. And then we go to late Saturday, and then it starts to end and it moves out. But then um, we're going to look at the um, snow uh, rainfall amounts here in the east. So we'll back it up a little bit. And we go to Friday, 8 a.m., Light rainfall across, you can see concentrated here, one, maybe one, uh, maybe two inches or more, three inches here, mostly offshore. And then we'll go to 8 p.m. on Saturday. And you can see most of the rain is ended here across southeast, but still raining here. This is in six hour intervals, forgot to, uh, 12 hour intervals, forgot to mention that. We have pockets of two inches here across uh, parts of southeast Pennsylvania and uh, parts of New Jersey, and then all the heavier rain amounts, and then we'll go into Sunday, and then it, it fairly ends. Okay, so that's that storm. But then we'll have a strong um, low pressure system here in the plains, starts uh, lifting up through the Great Lakes, and this will bring heavy snow. And then to the south, we'll have um, strong rain, uh, strong rain. Strong storms and heavy rain occurring across this area here. And then we go into to Thursday and then uh, it lifts out. We'll look at the snowfall totals that they're uh, forecasted for this storm. We're looking at the European. I can see this is in also 12 hour intervals, four or five inches, pockets of seven. And then we'll go into uh, early Monday, another eight, seven inches. So this is a pretty significant snowstorm across this region here. And like I mentioned, on the warm side of the system, there'll be heavy rain and strong storms associated with a cold front that could lead to flooding issues across the south early next week. And then also uh, next week, we'll go back to the surface maps. We'll have another system in the southeast that could bring more um, rain to parts of the soaked by this time mid-Atlantic, southeast, and into the northeast. Um, okay, then in the west, we will have a strong, we'll have a storm system moving into the west, you can see it here, bringing rain and mountain snows. So active period still continues. Now we're going to look at the period from March 29th through April 2nd. And we have generally above normal heights here. Still have our ridge here over the Central Pacific. Ridge here over the West Central States. Above normal heights here in the east. So um, for this forecast period, I'm calling for below normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for anomalies of 48 degrees above normal. The greatest anomalies here. Above normal temperatures forecast for this region with anomalies of 48 degrees above normal, greatest anomalies across northern New England, New York State. For precipitation, is this the right map? Okay, pre precipitation, let me get it, uh, I was changing some maps. Okay, for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation here. And for this region, probability of occurrence is near 35%. And this is why I'm giving a low probability because if you've been noticing, if you've been watching all week, 
It's been flip-flopping, wetter, drier, wetter. And before, the models are indicating a wet pattern across much of the country. And it looked like that way yesterday. But now, uh, we're forecasting below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is near 35%. Looking at the period for uh, March 3rd, uh, March, April 3rd to the 7th. Trying to look at above normal heights here across the Arctic. Zone of flow, still have our ridge here near the Aleutians, above normal heights. So for this forecast period, I am calling for, let me get to the maps. Uh, below normal temperatures are forecast here, and with the anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees below normal, above normal temperatures here, with the anomalies of 4 to 6 degrees above normal, and for precipitation, wrong map there, let me get to the precipitation map. And the change in the precipitation anomalies from the previous period is to add much of the remainder of the East Coast to the 35% chance probability of, of above normal precipitation. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 24th through April 7th. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.